guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. Today in this video, I want to talk about Ethereum and their recent hard fork called Murrier Glacier. Not sure if I pronounced that right, but recently they did this to basically delay the difficulty bomb. Now, I have made videos about this before, but first I'll just show you the actual I guess the block that was transacted for the Maria Glacier and that was at 92 million okay block 92 million and as of making this video you guys will see this about uh, two days later two days and 12 hours ago as of making this video and this block was mined on Sparkpool, <laughs> which is pretty cool it says in 43 seconds interesting and you guys all know the block the block reward is about two ethereum per block at the moment and uh, yeah, so that was cool. This is when the hard fork has happened. Okay, so I want to just talk about the aftermath now of the, I guess, the hash rates, the block times, profitability, uh, price, whatever, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to go through all that in this video. I'll do, I'll do the profitability near the end. Let's take a look first at the Ethereum network hash rate. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see from an outlook here since the ice age was activated I believe it was around October okay actually we can look at the block times here and it actually started in around October I think middle or end of October yeah October 25th where you know the average block time was about 13 seconds okay for those that are are trying to understand what the ice age is for Ethereum and yeah, this is basically 13 seconds per block, so two Ethereum rewards per block every 13 seconds. But then we can see a gradual rise here, okay? Gradual rise all the way up until January, January 1st. And what happened here was that the Ice Age was activated and thus the block times are getting longer and longer by, by seconds, not like minutes or anything, but by seconds. And thus the rewards, you were getting less of the rewards because of the block times were a lot longer, right? Thus though, that also changed the, the hash rate. As you guys can see, since October, middle to end of October, there was a downtrend of the network hash rate, okay? So this, this kind of correlated, I guess kind of evened out relative to the network difficulty, okay? And now, okay, I'm gonna zoom in into the network hash rate here. Okay, so let's see, January 1st, January 2nd is when the, let's see here, is when the Maria Glacier was activated, okay? So yeah, January, January 1st, January 2nd. Now you guys can see the network hash rate from 147, 147 terahash has gone up now to about 157. And as well, the block times here, I'm going to zoom in on the block times here. So, okay, so normally it was about 13 seconds per block time. Highest point up until January 1st was 17.16 seconds per block. And now, as of January 3rd, it is 13.04 seconds. So back to the average time what it was before in October, beginning to middle of October. All right. So now we should really see, you know, profitability maybe go up a little bit. Uh, network hash rate is probably going to be evening out, though. Uh, it's it's going to be going up, okay? So as profitability relative to network hash rate, relative to block times, generally, in, I think I, I think in the beginning people will probably get more Ethereum uh, after this uh, Murrier Glacier. I actually have noticed on one of my Ethereum rigs that I am getting a little bit more Ethereum, but I think in the next few days we are going to see this level out and profitability level out per se. Okay, so and. In terms of this hard fork, it hasn't changed anything for miners, okay? Basically, client nodes, nodes, exchanges had to upgrade, update their software, update the clients in order to have uh, this hard fork, uh, Maria Glacier. And yeah, so nothing upon the hash rates of servers or hash rate of your rigs, nothing will change upon that matter, okay? It's basically the block times and... Uh, uh, yeah, that's just back to normal now. The Ice Age has been delayed. Okay, my friends? Now, let's let's just take a look at the profitability as of making this video, okay? So looking at this graph, uh, looking at the price of Ethereum at the moment, it's $135 USD. Um, but you guys will see this video in two days, so maybe the price will be different. But generally, okay, general profitability. Let's go to what to mine. We're on what to mine right now. Now we're just going to go to a general RX 570 rig that can do about 180 mega hash. This is the same 
number that I use all the time at 10 cents kilowatt hour for the average USD uh, US electrical rate and we see here at the moment nice hash is seems to be most profitable at the moment I'm not sure how they calculate that but you can see here we're making after 10 cents kilowatt hour 45 cents uh, per 6 by RX 570 rig okay this is not pi this is not by a video uh, one RX 570 this is by six RX 570s and a dollar 45 okay at 10 cents kilowatt hour that you are decently profitable not really I mean we've seen much more profitable numbers before but hey, if we if we bring this up to 11 cents we're gonna probably see the profitability go down so 45 now at 11 cent 11 cent kilowatt hour we're at 28 cents profitability 12 cents this is probably gonna be like break-even numbers real soon yeah 11 cents on nice hash okay so and if you're mining ethereum directly apparently and if you're trading to trade ogre you would be making negative seven cents on at 12 cents kilowatt hour so let's just go back to 10 cents here and uh, here actually I want to do my kilowatt per hour which is 0 0.08 okay USD and we can see here yeah we are I am generally profitable on an AMD rig still uh, 80 cents but if we do a let's see I want to do my my p104 rig for example okay so for just for example 480 my water power consumption is about 1600 eight cents okay p104 rig all right so my p104 rig 12 by p104 is making five dollars and 81 cents before electrical cost after electrical cost I'm still making about two dollars and 74 cents a day or 228 a day if I'm mining ethereum directly now if I were to compare that to an in a silicon a10 if you guys don't know what this is this is the ETH ethereum miner an ASIC ethereum miner which I believe has been out for a while now it can do 500 mega hash at 750 watts so you know what let's do a comparison here you guys saw the par comparison to my 12p104 almost getting 500 mega hash at 1600 watts but this in a silicon can do 500 instead at 750 watts way more efficient they say here 2.5 2.5 times better than the competition so 2.5 times better efficiency per se so look at this hit calculate 10 cents kilo or my kilowatt hour uh, we're making six dollars before electrical cost four dollars and 62 cents a day uh, after electrical cost so yeah definitely we're making about double double the profitability compared to my p104 rig in terms of efficiency but would i say it's a it's a monster like difference yes and no 2500 usd yeah it is cheaper to buy this asic miner than my p104 rig but would i buy an in a, in a silicon a10 for mining ethereum or ethereum classic in the next year no i would not definitely for what's going to be happening in the next year or so we're not sure prog pow sha3 for ethereum classic proof of stake for ethereum all that kind of stuff we, we don't know we don't know so but anyways guys that's all i wanted to talk about in this video yeah ethereum and murray glacier has been activated and the delay has been ice age has been delayed now uh, so we don't have to worry about the delay for another i believe four million blocks so i believe another four million blocks the ice age has been delayed so i think that's going to be like another year or so but they expect that ethereum will probably go to proof of stake or something uh, before then okay so they're going to work on that before then i think it's a year or two years i'm not sure don't don't quote me on that but yeah Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Smash the like button, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.